We're in the northwest of England. We're based on a silty loam soil, which can get wet. Uh, it's a very, very flat area. And the windbreaks are grey alder, and they were put in over 30 years ago um, by the person who owned the nursery before me. When we took over the nursery, uh, we liked the concept that it had trees on it for all the wildlife benefits, etc., etc. And we set about uh, developing a vegetable growing system in between the windbreaks. The windbreaks are actually spaced at 15 or 20 metre spacings. We manage them on a five year um, pollarding rotation. We will cut them down to roughly chest height. We will allow them to re-sprout, which they do very, very willingly in year one and year two. In year three, we will go round and take off a lot of the side growth, leaving just the uprights. And then in year four, as you can see, the uprights are now really going up and we are getting some very, very usable timber by year five for our wood burning stoves. We're in the northwest of England we're about three quarters of a mile as the crow flies from Morecambe Bay and the Irish Sea. So we can get some quite strong, quite cold winds coming in off the sea in early springtime, which is a time we're obviously looking to be growing our vegetables. So we benefit tremendously from the windbreak uh, actually stopping the winds. The trees that we use are grey alder. They grow very, very well and rapidly here in the northwest of England. They are water loving trees. Um, so not only are we benefiting in the fact that they are helping to drain the land, they are also nitrogen fixing and we do see some benefits into the bed of some of the nitrogen fixation that takes place uh, on the older trees. We do obviously as they grow up and they're getting towards cutting time do suffer a little bit from shade but as you can see in between these two here we have uh, a red clover green manure and this is all built into our vegetable rotations that as the trees are producing the most shade we are in a green manure phase of our rotation. Red clover it's now been down for 18 months it will do another year and then it will come out and go into three years vegetable. We manage with a flail mower quite tight underneath the windbreaks this actually keeps a lot of the indigenous uh, plant growth in check during the summer months. During the winter months we leave that as predator habitat etc etc and we have got to a stage now where this holding has now been organic for over 35 years and we do not see any major pest and disease problems because of the way that we actually manage it.